Welcome to Camel Cam. I'm your host, Amanda Height. It's homecoming week in the creek, and we've got a lot going on. It starts with homecoming hoopla. Our basketball team tips off its celebration this Friday night at 6 p.m. Free admission, food, and prizes for all. With the hoopla and the season right around the corner, we went to practice to catch up with the women's basketball team. Take a look. Hi, my name is Brittany Waddell, and today I have Brianna Cribb. So, Brianna, in one word, how would you describe your team? Energetic. So, as a student athlete, what is your day-to-day -day life? Um, day-to-day -day is probably just like wake up, eat breakfast, lift weights, eat some more food, <laughs> go to practice, eat, sleep, and then, yeah, try to do homework after that. And then just start all over the next day? Basically. I'm Danielle Stansel, and today I have Summer Price with me. So, Summer, we know you're a student athlete, so how do you balance homework and practice? Well, <laughs> when I know I have breaks, I make sure... I do some of my homework, at least in each of the breaks. That way it's not too much at night when we leave practice. Okay. So in one word, describe your team this year. Together? <laughs> game are you looking forward to this season? Uh, probably the game I'm looking most forward to is probably senior night, just because I know most of my family's going to be able to be there and support, so that's really cool. So this is a Hoopla event coming up tomorrow. Are you excited and what can we expect to see from the girls basketball team? Yeah, I'm really excited for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, get everybody out here and ready for the season. Tomorrow, I heard that I'm in the three-point contest. I don't know what else is going on though, so. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about the Hoop Live event? It's going to be really big. It's one of the first times that we've ever done anything like that here, so I would just stay tuned because Women's basketball has some pretty interesting stuff coming up. Hey, thank you. No 1.30 this Saturday, check out Wrestling's Orange and Black Scrimmage. It's an outdoor wrestling match right here in front of Gore Arena. It's a unique event that you will not want to miss. That leads into homecoming football game at four versus Stetson. We're here with Carlos Merritt, a junior football player. So Carlos, are you excited about playing since you've been off for a few weeks? Yes, um, I'm actually excited about getting back on the field. You know, the hurricane, Matthew, we had a week, then we had the bye week, so it should be, uh, should be good to get back on the field and get back into action. With homecoming, just this weekend, what are you most excited about for homecoming? Um, really, just to bring Campbell a win and, um, you know, see some of the old faces that come back to school to support the team, support Campbell football, and support Campbell as a whole. How do you think the team looks so far this year since it's about halfway through the season? Um, we got off to a, a fast start and we had some speed bumps through the road, but you know, um, we work on um, coming through adversity all the time. So um, I think we're going to finish strong and I think, I think we, 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 we've, we've been doing okay though. We are here with football player Adrian Dorsey, so tell me. Are you excited about the game this weekend? Almost definitely. It's homecoming. You know, it's about to be a great experience this week. Yeah. What's your favorite part about homecoming? Um, just having everybody like come back, like seeing some of the old guys, you know, seeing some of the old alumni, you know, that's here. And then like, it just, I think hypes everybody up and everything. Like you don't want to lose on homecoming. So it gives everybody that, oh, we ain't losing this game kind of mentality, that attitude, that dog come out this week. So it's going to be fun. So I hear that you are in charge of a leadership group. Tell me more about that. It started, like I think, last year. Danny Dillon was the original prayer leader for the team and everything like that, and he kind of like just asked me to help him out my freshman year. And then last year when he started to, um, you know, get ready to go, he was like, Dorsey, I want you to help me pray and everything. So I was like, okay, cool. And it started last year, and then um, Rudy, the chaplain, came to me and was like, Dorsey, pray during like after practice and sometimes after the games and that's what I do I just love it because um, prayer is huge for me it's um, kind of like I, I get my sanity you know stay cool and everything and just talk to God like it's cool. So with the season about halfway through how do you think the team looks so far? We're still I feel like we're a dominant team. Like I feel really confident about this team. I like who we are as a team, as a brotherhood. Like we're really a tight unit. It's not just offense and defense like it's been in the past. It's everybody playing for one. We got each other back. You know, we stay on each other. We make sure each other like you know brings. Like we try to bring the best out of each other and everything like that. So that's what I like about this squad. Really, this is a good team. All right. Thank you very much, and good luck this weekend. Thank you. 
Last but not least, homecoming weekend ends with men's soccer hosting Presbyterian at 7 on Saturday. That's all for this week's edition of Camel Cam. I'm Amanda Height and I hope you have a great week.